tell me what to say. Today on Serious Knitting. Okay, please stop, please stop. This is Swinging Safari. Okay. It makes sense. Alright. You didn't know that. But I did. Today we'll be talking about a pen that is a staple in the collection of many pen reviewers, mm -hmm. pen collectors, pen users, pen people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that pen is. The Lamy Safari! Okay, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> what were your first impressions? Um, just for the record, this is just the regular black one. Just but it's not the All Star. The All Star is made of aluminum, aluminium, aka. This is the plastic. Well, yeah. no, this is plastic. Yeah, it's some, ABS some plastic. ABS plastic. Okay, first impressions. Um, in the United States and Canada, it comes in a thin oh, plastic box with with um like slats, like vents of sorts, and the uh, the pen is uh, attached to a cardboard strip and it's slipped into the box. Um, there's a cartridge in there and there's like a bit of uh, Lamy information on there. Um, in a way, it's good packaging because it's not, I mean, you can recycle it, it's, it's paper, um, but it also can get crushed really easily. So, I mean, it really has no structure to it. I don't want it to get crushed. No, well, I mean, it is a plastic pen. Yeah. So... No, but it's, it's supposed to be unbreakable, right? It's ABS plastic. Apparently. But come on. If a truck drives over this thing, a plane rolls over this thing... This calls for an experiment. Anyway, uh, it can get crushed, but I mean, say you're giving it as a gift, you don't want it to be all, like, messy and, you know, grody looking or something. So, um, it's fine packaging. It doesn't waste a lot of space. Hmm. And if you do choose to keep it, it does stack nicely. You can I'm always not, repack it, I guess. I'm not usually thrilled by it, but anyway. Um, the pen itself, I remember when I I first got one, and it was it was a strange pen because it was one of my first pens when I was first getting into fountain pens because everybody says get a safari. Um, I was definitely attracted to the color. Wow. Um, no, my first colored one was, uh, I think, pink. Oh, that, that would figure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, pink, and then I got the aquamarine, or the teal, or whatever it was, and then I collected like all of the colors in like not all of them, but the easily attainable, many colors, acquirable colors. Anyway, about it. Um, I I found it to be an interesting shape, and mostly I was attracted to the fact that it was like cute, colorful plastic, and to me it. The I mean I know a lot of people hate the grip section, which seems to be a love hate thing. Yeah. Um, it didn't bother me. I I don't I didn't care about that. I love that there was the little visible ink window, so you could see your cartridge or your converter. So I mean overall my my impressions were positive. I thought it was a cute pen. I didn't know a lot about pens back then, so in a way it was the most unbiased way to look at the pen. I uh, I got mine relatively late in my whole collecting um, thing, and that's interesting um, because it was recommended to me by a lot of people. I mean, my one of my videos of, of choosing a starter pen, I didn't even mention it. Many people commented on that. I just didn't have one, but I can see the appeal. I can see why it appeals to people. It's as with many Lamis, the design. I guess either appeals to you or it doesn't. I don't think there are a lot of people who think, nah, yeah, it's, it's a love or hate thing, but it definitely has nice features. There is a need that ABS plastic, there is the, the, the ink window, which is quite nice. The section doesn't bother me either, but I, indeed, I do know there are many people who hate it. Um, my first impressions of the pen were quite nice. Uh, it's I got mine with a broad nib, which is pretty much a gusher. It, it really whoa, flows. Whoa, 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 save it for the writing experience, yo. God, look at him just like. So, sorry. I I think it's it's uh, my my first impressions were very good. Yeah, yeah, positive first impressions. Uh, first impressions. What makes it special? Um, the safari is, I would say, rather iconic because everybody knows what a safari is, especially well, in the fountain pen world. Um, is that the thing where you drive in a jeep and you look at? Us? Um, and then also, it's. It's available in a lot of colors. You know, they make limited edition ones. 
they are a special pen because I mean they're they're light. Um, they're supposed to help you hold hold the pen properly, like, help you with your grip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's unbreakable plastic. You could never have a child. Obviously, but you can Makes never sense. be allowed to hold a child. Um, it's a very well-known pen. Very well-known. And and it's um, in a beginner's price range, I would say. And widely available. I don't know what it's like in the U.S., it's but in, in no, it Europe, is. you can pretty much walk into any office supply store and they will have Lamy Safaris in, in a display case. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a very easy pen to obtain, which is nice if you're, if you're starting out with, with fountain yeah. pens. Uh, and indeed, very, uh, very common, very ubiquitous. Um, writing experience, what do you think? Okay, well, uh, I think to date, I just just to give a overview, because the more nibs from the safari you have used, the better, right? Um, I've used something like 20 safaris. Oh my god. Man. Ranging, yeah, ranging from extra fines to the calligraphy nibs. So they have extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1, uh, 1.5, 1 1.9 medium. Uh, millimeter nibs. Um, they do. You know, they're not buttery smooth nibs. Obviously. Well, okay, go ahead. Well, buttery smooth. I'm talking like pelicans here. Buttery smooth. But they are smooth. I have smooth. not... The only ones I take issue with are like the 1.5 and 1.9 millimeter ones just because they tend to dry out. Yeah. But, I mean, they are very broad. Um... And they're using the same feed as the one, the extra fines and all that. So I have found that overall they're very pleasant nibs. Um, yes, there might be a slight bit of inconsistency in the sizing of a fine and a medium. I mean, you might find a fine that's a little finer than another fine, but... All fines are created equally, but some are finer than others. Yeah, but I mean, in general, they're really quite decent nibs. Um... My favorite is the broad and the 1.1 because this would be a broad. They're they are quite smooth. They have very good flow. Um, and the one, like for example, in the 1.1, it's a very expressive writer. It gives you a lot of nice line variation. Um, it's get, gets your ink to shade a bit more. Same with the broad, and um, I find it quite lovely. And if you don't mind holding, no, I don't mind holding. And for me. The pen size is very comfortable. It's a it's a lightweight yep. pen. It honestly it's really nice to hold. And if the grip, the grip I think works or doesn't. For me it works. Um, there's one facet thing here, one here, and then the bottom is rounded. So it works perfectly fine for me. But I mean, if you hold your pen, I mean, some people hold them like this or you know some other fancy way. It might not work for you, but. For me, I found it completely fine. So my writing experience has always been very lovely with these pens. I've used a bunch of the nibs too. I don't recall. I don't recall having used an extra fine, uh, but I have used other nibs. For example, the Lamy Nex has the same nibs. I have used the fine on that one. I have used medium. I've even used the left-handed nib. I didn't really notice any difference, but apparently to left-handed people, it does make a difference. I've used the calligraphy nibs, which I like, but I do agree with you. They run a bit dry. Um, this is a broad, and I have to say I was very pleased with this. It's a nice wet nib, and actually my experience was that it was very smooth. I, I really love the the experience, uh, writing experience this this pen and nib combination has given me. Um, so that's that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I fell asleep for a second. What do you love about it? Um, it is a affordable pen. It's not inexpensive. It's not like, you know, a Pilot Petite one, which three dollar range, or Varsity or something. But no, but it's a class app, I would say. In, in build quality. It is that. definitely yeah. So they're like twenty five dollars. They're definitely they're definitely well made. Um, it is plastic, but and I remember thinking, oh, it's just plastic. It can't be that great. But when I held one, I was like, okay. This feels pretty good. It's pretty solid, and um, that's a that's a nice thing. Uh, I I again I have no issues with the grip. I don't love the grip, but I don't hate it. I don't need the grip to hold my pen properly, but mm -hmm. it's um it's just a it's just there. 
Some people might hate it. Some people might love it. You like founder pants without grips? What? You said I don't need the grip to hold it. No, I mean I don't need the particularly like the, the, tri the grip the, the style. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the nibs are interchangeable, so you could just slide the nib off, and then I think the nibs are like ten dollars each or something, which is pretty cool because then you can um, can expand your range. You can expand your range, yeah. and that's how I do uh, ink reviews. Is I just switch my nibs, makes it a lot easier to clean at the end, because although it makes for very messy fingers because I changed them, but bit of tape. Yeah, um, the so the build quality is quite nice. The nib is awesome. What are you saying about the build quality? And then, oh my god, seriously. Sorry. And what I really like is there's a whole bunch of colors available. And of course, Lamy torches us every year and releases a limited edition color that I always say, oh, I'm not going to buy it because I have enough. But she does. Another, and then I do anyway. It's true. And yet, they have yet to make a purple. But anyway, I like that about them. That they don't make a book? No, that they don't oh, oh, stuff. I see. Pay attention. So what about you? What do you love or like? Um, what I like is that it's affordable and that it's relatively pleasant to use. At this price level, I really find the nibs very pleasant, especially this broad one. I don't know. It's the only broad one I've used, so I don't know if there's much inconsistencies. I do really like it. It takes the converter very well. One thing I like is that the Lamy converters have these little nubs actually make it click in place so they won't get dislodged very easily, which I like. I like the ink window. <coughs> the design is not for everyone, as I said. The section is definitely not for everyone, but relatively large hands, and I have not had any issues with it. Um, if you like a somewhat, um, it's not that much heavier, but if you really don't like the plastic, you always get an all-star, which is pretty much the same pen, except different material, but same model. I think it's really nice at this price point. Sorry, I was going to just add yeah. another nice thing about it is, um, you know, it is an, an interesting looking pen. So if you're trying to get people interested in pens, it is a good pen for them to be like, oh, what's that? And then they can try it. So also, it is robust. It is a workhorse. You can yeah. throw it in your bag. It can take a beating. Yeah. Um, it, it's really a decent pen. It is. And that's very, very nice. Yeah. I, I think you hate about it. Um, Absolutely hate. What I dislike, not hate, what I dislike. Was that my question? Um, is first, Lamy uses proprietary cartridges. And when you buy the pen, you get this horrendous blue cartridge. You know, maybe some people like it. Washable but blue. I really hate it. Um, and then you have to pay $5 for a converter. You know, that's, I get it. There are way more expensive pens that you have to still buy a converter. But, for example, the Pilot Metropolitan, which is like $18, you get a converter. So, yeah, so that, can, it's a nice can, converter, but then it, it does bump up the price of the pen. Yeah. So, you can use cartridges, but if you want to use bottled ink, you, you have to fork out another $5. However, there are a lot of deals online from a lot of retailers who will sell you the pen with a converter included. Like, not additional cost, you know, so just watch out for those deals. Yeah, that's great. That is nice. Yep. I am, in all honesty, I can't come up with something I really hate. Uh, I think it's an affordable pen, nicely made, has an interesting section, interesting shape, etc. Oh, um, they keep making colors that I just have to keep buying. Well, that's something you may hate. I'm perfectly satisfied with just one Safari. My black one is, is, is great. This is the one I so used fun. in Inkcyclopedia. Um, a good, decent pen. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's you, you, you get what you pay for. It's a simple pen. Um, for me, personally, I don't think this is the, the, the looker of the year, so to speak. I mean, it's not, it's not a, a very special, uh, super fancy finish or anything. It does what what it's supposed to do. It writes and it writes nicely, and you can expand it from extra fine to broad to calligraphy nibs. So that's really cool. But some of the nice. prettier colors might be more striking than the yeah, the black one. one. I'm sorry, this is what I had. Um, uh, like the, there's the neon coral this year, which is really lovely, uh, in my opinion. I mean, some people might think it's hideous, but and I think one thing that's nice about it is that it's a very collectible pen. Yeah. People have collections of all the special. It's an affordably collectible pen. Yeah. Unless you're looking for that terracotta, which is like 700 US or something right now. I've seen one online for 700. Anyway, um, yeah. That's, Would you buy it? 
the pen, this one, or the terracotta? Well, no, I mean, oh, any this one. Safari. Um, absolutely, yeah. I think it's, um, I think it's well worth it, and um, I, I like them. I like them a lot. I bought this one, so yes, I, I would buy them. Oh, I would and buy I continue to buy them, so. Yeah, and that personally, I don't. For me, one safari is, is more than enough, but it's the one I have I like. It's, That's because some people are busy saving up for their crazy grail pens. Oh, shit. No, but it's true. I mean, it's, 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 not, it's not a pen that appeals to me so much that I want to have this in every color I've ever made. I'm just vain in light colors, so. Yeah, and that's fine, but as, as we said, I mean, that's that's a nice thing. It's still relatively affordable, unless you go for the super rare special yeah. editions, but that's kind of nice. But it is, yeah, that's, it, that's what makes it fun. It is affordable. Now, the question. It's a pen you can afford to collect. Yeah. Is. Is it, or is it not, serious image? Ta-da! Yeah. Yeah, I think it is serious coverage. I think it is, and this is a very affordable one. This is not something that will cost you hundreds of dollars. It's just simple. It writes yeah. smoothly, nicely, no issue. And it's a safe pen that if somebody who doesn't use fountain pens wants to try, you could always let them touch it. Yeah, so you don't have to be scared that they will spring your 18 karat yes. bomb or whatever. So it is. It's a knockabout pen. It's nice. It's it reliable. is a workhorse. It is reliable, dependable. It's going I've to be not had them skip on smooth paper or just skip. I mean, they no. don't randomly skip out the 1.5, 1.9 dry out eventually. It's easy to prime the feed for those ones. Um, they can be disassembled to clean. Anyway, I'm rambling. But yeah, I think they're great. If you have one, we want to know. Or you have a collection, I want to know. Sorry. Or she wants to give her a terracotta one, and she wants to know. But we want to know what you think of the Lama Safari. Do you think it's serious knowledge or not? Why not? Let us know. Put a comment down below. Also, let us know what pen you would like to see us cover in serious knowledge, mm -hmm. and we'll try to com We'll try to accommodate your request. Yeah, as well as we can. Yeah. We hope this was useful. Uh, we definitely hope this. Oh, and if you like us, click the like button. And if you don't like us, don't click the like button. If you're a troll. Please don't leave any rude comments, and please don't click the dislike button, and please leave. I used to have troll dolls with their Like, why hand. Why are you watching? Again, I just don't get it. Why do you watch videos you don't like, and then just complain about how much they suck? Anyway. Not that we get that a lot. But still. I'm a little passionate about this, since the pen habit has decided to take leave, because I don't understand why people are just so mean. True. Anyway, for everyone who leaves nice comments and who enjoys us, thank you very much. We are having a great time doing these videos. Yes, we do. And we are hoping that it's helping you, uh, enabling you maybe, you know, whatever. This is what we do. Um, but yeah, we very much appreciate it. All your kind comments, all your likes, all your views, everything. And we'll gladly see you later. Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I, I used to have troll dolls. Did you have trolls with the hair? Oh yeah, I definitely had those. I had a giant collection of them. In fact, I took a picture of them before I, I, I donated them all because uh, at some point when I was like 25, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have these anymore. Yeah, but one had a little skeleton outfit and it was the cutest little thing ever. And it okay, this is really disturbing. I would take the little outfit off and put it on my fingers and walk around. I had a I had a, a bigger one and it used to wear the, uh, the little cape that I wore when I was a baby. Okay, that's terrifying. That was TMI. Definitely. A long time ago. Definitely. Do you ever long back to your childhood? Long back to your childhood? Long for your childhood. Like, reminisce and think. Reminisce? No. Oh, shut up. It's not a linguistic lesson. We're glad to see you later. Bye! Bye!